Hey what's good people, I'm Darius and in this video I want to share with you some pointers that hopefully will help you make better graffiti sketches. Now I've been doing mostly wild style sketches since 1999 so for about 20 years or so I guess and from my experience there are a few practices that really helped me improve my style and brought serious results to my art. I will consider that you already know the basics of it and that you are already building your own style but you need that extra something that makes your sketches visually stunning. Luckily, I'm willing to share the knowledge I've gathered over the years with you and that's why I've put together a list of 5 practices that you can start doing right away that will guarantee the wow effect to your art. But before we get into all that, please make sure you subscribe to the channel for more content like this, hit the bell next to the sub button to be the first in line to get this type of information and drop a like on this video if you find any of this helpful. Now that we've got that out of the way, it's time for the list. Number 1 Practice each letter individually. Most of the graffiti writers have a 4 or 5 letter name, of course you can have more or less than that, but it's a standard used for practical purposes. For example, if you have a name of 10 letters then it would be quite expensive in terms of art supplies for you to fill all those letters. And also, it can get quite time consuming, that's why a 4 or 5 letter name is ideal. I have drawn hundreds of sketches with my name cast among others like Sam's, Esam or Sam which are all short four or three letters and with each name I took every letter separately and exercised them. This way I was able to figure out how they can fit together by bending them in different ways and adding elements as well as developing my own way of drawing that particular letter. It is a good and efficient way to study each letter's curves and blocks without having to keep imagining it in relation to other letters. Then, when you have a version you really like, you can implement it into your design and start thinking of how it can smoothly blend with the others. Number 2 Mix all your art supplies If you want to make awesome sketches, a minimum of art supplies is required, at least a pencil, a liner, some markers, but you could have more, maybe you've got some acrylics laying around, or some colored pencils from when you were little. The important thing is to make the most of everything you have available. For instance, you can get some really nice effects when combining alcohol markers with color pencils or paint markers that can go over any color, especially the dark ones. Brushing some watercolor or acrylic paint for the background can really help covering those big areas begging for color. But be careful, some combinations may spill, tear the paper or just look bad. So I would recommend testing your mix separately before you use them on your actual art. Number 3 Redesign your own sketches one of the keys to having a unique style is to constantly redraw your own sketches. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying to do the same sketch over and over or to stop experimenting with different shapes. All I'm saying is that after you've discovered a good flow for your letters, you should stick to it. And what I mean by that is to remix or refix your sketches to keep a certain consistency to your style. Just have a look at these pieces by some of the best writers out there and mind the similarities in the shape of the letters, elements and coloring techniques in each of their works. You'd be surprised how fast you will develop your unique style by doing this and most of all how fast you will evolve in designing better and better graffiti sketches. In time you will get so accustomed to your own letters that you won't even need an older sketch for reference and of course this will also help you paint freestyle graffiti on walls. Number 4 Get inspired Sometimes using your imagination just isn't enough to keep your drive for sketching and that's why having some trustworthy sources of inspiration plays a big role in always being in the loop with modern graffiti trends or to simply discover other people's work. In this day and age it's quite easy to be in touch with the graffiti world thanks to social media like Facebook, Instagram or YouTube but here are a few other places that you might have overlooked. Pinterest 
this web and mobile app has a lot of inspiring graffiti paint by others. And the great thing about it is that you can save collection of photos you like and that each photo will send you to its original source of upload. I've spent countless hours on Pinterest and will never get tired of the amazing stuff I find there. Another one is Flickr, an image hosting service that, among others, can provide tons of graffiti images uploaded by writers all over. A cool thing I like about it is that I can check other people's favorite photos and easily get lost from there. Other inspiration sources can be found through forums, graffiti sites like Black Bookology and Bombing Science, magazines and books, doing sketch exchanges or battles with other writers, or simply by walking along any track site. <laughs> So get out there, get inspired, but don't be a toy and copy other people's work. And lastly, do it daily. You probably hear this a lot and that's maybe because it's the most important thing that you can do to actually see results and this goes for anything you want to be good at. In this case, the best thing you can do is to pick up a pencil and draw every day, or as often as you can, or as long as you still love what you're doing. With each day, you will gain more perspective over your own art, learn and perfect your techniques and eventually have a shit ton of awesome sketches. Trust me guys, there's no other way to get really good unless you reserve some time every day to at least doodle something. If drawing is only a thing you like to do from time to time, then surely your evolution will go very slow. But I'm sure that you're passionate and that you try hard to give it your best and most certainly you are already making progress. Alright guys, thanks for watching, let me know in the comments below what else do you think can be added to this list and also if you have any sketches to show me, I'd be glad to give you some feedback. Stay safe, keep drawing and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!